we are doing the rear and front brakes of a 2011 to 2014 Ford Explorer. So it is both the front and the rear, unlike any other YouTube video. So trust me, this is going to be great. First off, of course you need this. Then you're going to need an amazing screwdriver. Now, this is what they look like. Front looks like this. For this model, it's an all-wheel drive. This has a six-cylinder. So all-wheel drive, six-cylinder, they have these bad boys. For the rear, you got this. It looks like that. Okay, cool. Caliper compression tool for the rear. For the front, you don't need it. 19 to remove the little lug nuts. And then you need an eight, uh, 17 to remove the front caliper. And then you need a 13 to remove the rear calipers. That's it. That's all you need if you're only doing the brake pads. Enjoy the video. Super easy. The rear brakes, caliper, caliper compression tool. You need a 13 millimeter and a caliper compression tool. Two bolts. One, two. I will show you. Bolts removed. Voila. Caliper should come up. Oh, I need my screwdriver. Hold on. Okay. Got my screwdriver. Look at that. See that? Wow. 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 Slide it under there. Wow. AC. Throw these on. Okay, put it back together. All done. Fantastic. Good job. Wow. All right. Now, caliper compression tool. Ooh. Oh, I, I guess I actually have to do it. Whew. I hate those. You ever have the sweat? that falls in your eyes and then it stings really bad. That's the adapter I used with that one. Easy. Take it easy. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. It fits. Play hard to get. Last bolt. Oh my gosh, guys. Did, did you see that? Less than two minutes and 30 seconds. Boom. Time. Rear brakes. 2014 Ford Explorer. Driver's side. Done. It's a new record. Time for the front. I don't know about you guys, but the hardest part about changing brakes to me is taking the dang tire off. I think that's the hardest part. You gotta set up the jack, then you're gonna break them loose, and then your bolts always get stuck in your sockets. So, or your nuts. It'll kind of make you go nuts. Dang gum it. Anyways. So, if your bolt is stuck like you just saw, all I'm doing is feeding it back on, yanking it off. Look at that. Wow, what a trick. Only a real dummy would know how to do that. Don't be a dummy. Now, I typically don't Sid listen. Has connected to your phone and is reminding you that. Don't take advice from people on YouTube because they tend to not be professionals, unlike me. Where I am a professional, professional YouTuber, that is. But the guy that said tilt the wheel to one side while you're changing your brakes, he's a real genius. Kudos to him. That's a 17. Alright, so you can either do this the right way 
or you could do this the right way. Funny thing is about this screwdriver. My friend gave me this screwdriver and he used it to work on his bike, right? A, a bicycle, like you, you push the pedals or whatever. And so that's what he did. He gave me the screwdriver. He's like, I promise you, this is the best tool you'll ever own. And uh, to his credit, it is. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've used this ridiculously huge flathead screwdriver in my life. I've used it, I use it every year, maybe 200 times a year for jobs. And the workflow increase by having a ridiculously huge random flathead screwdriver is insane. I wish I could give my friend $200 for that advice. So, yeah, now to break this loose. You guys ever watch a show? It was called Leverage. It was a great show. But, uh, you know, this is what you're gonna need. This little leverage. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna need two hands. So, I got this Milwaukee thing. It's pretty cool. NGL. So these clips, you gotta be careful. A little spring sexy things. You gotta be careful. I'll just put this out on my finger. So the way that this hooks in here is there's a little hole that it goes in. So you gotta be careful. It's pushing the brake pads out. So that way there's constant tension on the caliper and you don't get clappy clap. So again, ridiculously huge screwdriver. Wow. Wow. See how amazing that is? 10 out of 10. Best tool ever. The best. Highly recommend. Time to slap these bad boys on. Oh, another thing is you need to get the pads. This is an all-wheel drive model, six-cylinder uh, 2014 Explorer. It has to have these little, little look at this little dragon. Rawr. Rawr, rawr, rawr. So you need to have that, where it looks like that. Save yourself the time. And it has the double slotted, double grooved. It's not the single, it's the double. Boom, boom. Sweet. Okay. Got the new ones on. Have you guys ever watched Tropic Thunder? Those things look like little dragons to me. Little dragon. Framing Dragon! <laughs> Anyways, if you've never watched Tropic Thunder, or you don't understand the reference to that joke, I just want you to know that one time, you gave that homeless guy a dollar, and you're like, you know what? I'm glad I gave him a dollar. I hope you know he bought alcohol with it, or drugs. You supported his addiction. Just remember that because you never watch Tropic Thunder. Anyways, so I gotta stick this in here without pushing them back and forth. So it's just these two things in the hole and this goes straight up. See, there you go. Perfection. Look at that. And you take this bad boy and then you question whether or not you opened it wide enough. Okay, I'm gonna need two hands. Oh gosh, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Oh, I lost one. Uh, I'll just edit that out. And that is it, boys and girls. That is how you change the front and the back brakes on a. Oh, that sound bad. 2011 to 2014 Ford Explorer. Like and subscribe. Like I said, I am a YouTube professional. So I'll only go to professionals to seek advice when it comes to professionally working on your cars. Thanks.